dealership was so proud they put me a new battery in. I don't even believe they cleaned the terminals or put dielectric grease on them. Trying to do this one handed so I can't see. But I'm basically just cleaning these terminals up and putting dielectric grease on them. I hook my scanner up to it, and the PCM is telling it to give 13.9 volts, but it's only doing like 12. And that's generally because there's corrosion somewhere. I'll be honest with you, sometimes these dealerships, they don't do stuff intentionally. They want you to come back because that's how they make their money. That's all right though. I'll need a new vehicle sometime and I won't go to that dealership. All right, so let me just go ahead and explain something here. During my diagnostics of this alternator going bad, I was really starting to lean more toward the PCM as being the issue. And, um, you know, I'm kind of old school. When I done mechanic work, there were a lot of electronically controlled components on vehicles. But generally, the alternator was not controlled by the PCMs back then. But I do remember some tricks. For instance, I've got this set up to measure ohms. Hold the cables together. You see on the gauge there that we have no or very little minor resistance. And alternators have what's called a diode. They allow power to go in one direction of this post, but not go the other direction. So a little trick that you can do to check the diodes in an alternator is you can hook up the positive to your alternators positive and then you can ground and you can see that we've got resistance there now if I reverse this so I hook the negative to the positive terminal of the alternator and the positive to the case ground it should be no resistance but I have resistance that means the diodes are bad in this alternator which is the cause for the alternator not working. I don't know what was wrong with this alternator, but when I went to pick it up, the connectors all messed up. I didn't notice it until I just got home. But I need the alternator, so I'm going to have to try to make it work. All better now. Brand new alternator from Napa. And by the way, you should price shop alternators because two Napa stores about the same distance apart, one was $50 more than this one. Along with a $66 core charge, no matter where you got it from. So, uh... It was definitely cheaper to go to the other one. Anyways, it cost $186 with title or tax. <laughs> title. <laughs> Might as well have been a title as much as it cost. 
$186 and some change. That was with the core charge. So, uh, interesting thing about that is, is this is just a Mopar alternator. It doesn't have a voltage regulator, so it's got less parts and costs more. Yay!